The cardiovascular system, also known as the circulatory system, is a vital network of organs and blood vessels responsible for circulating blood, nutrients, oxygen, hormones, and other vital substances throughout the body. It plays a crucial role in supplying oxygen and nutrients to tissues and organs, removing waste products, regulating body temperature, and maintaining homeostasis. Let's explore the components and functions of the cardiovascular system in detail. 1. Heart. The heart is a muscular organ located in the chest cavity between the lungs. It consists of four chambers, two atria, upper chambers, and two ventricles, lower chambers. The right side of the heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs for oxygenation, pulmonary circulation. The left side of the heart receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumps it to the rest of the body, systemic circulation. Valves within the heart ensure one-way flow of blood and prevent backflow. The heartbeat is regulated by electrical impulses generated by the sinoatrial sa, node, which acts as the heart's natural pacemaker. 2. Blood Vessels Arteries Blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood away from the heart to the tissues and organs. They have thick, elastic walls that allow them to withstand high pressure. Veins Blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood from the tissues back to the heart. They have thinner walls than arteries and contain valves to prevent backflow. Capillaries. Tiny, thin-walled blood vessels that facilitate the exchange of nutrients, oxygen, and waste products between the blood and tissues. 3. Blood. Blood is a fluid connective tissue consisting of plasma, liquid portion, and formed elements, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Red blood cells, erythrocytes, contain hemoglobin, which binds to oxygen and transports it to tissues. White blood cells, leukocytes, play a role in the immune response, defending the body against infections and foreign substances. Platelets, thrombocytes, are involved in blood clotting, preventing excessive bleeding from injured blood vessels. Blood also transports nutrients, hormones, and waste products, helps regulate body temperature, and maintains pH and electrolyte balance. 4. Circulation. Systemic circulation. Oxygen-rich blood is pumped from the left side of the heart through the aorta to the rest of the body's tissues and organs. Deoxygenated blood returns to the right side of the heart via the superior and inferior vena cava. Pulmonary circulation. Deoxygenated blood from the body is pumped to the lungs for oxygenation. Oxygen-rich blood returns to the left side of the heart to be pumped to the rest of the body. 5. Regulation. Blood pressure. The force exerted by blood against the walls of blood vessels. It is regulated by the nervous system, hormones, such as adrenaline and angiotensin, and the kidneys. Heart rate. The number of times the heart beats per minute. It is influenced by factors such as physical activity, emotions, and autonomic nervous system activity. Cardiac output. The amount of blood pumped by the heart per minute. It is determined by heart rate and stroke volume. The volume of blood pumped by each heartbeat. 6. Homeostasis. The cardiovascular system plays a key role in maintaining homeostasis by regulating blood flow, blood pressure, and body temperature. It delivers oxygen and nutrients to tissues while removing metabolic waste products, helping to maintain cellular function and overall health. In summary, the cardiovascular system is essential for sustaining life by providing oxygen and nutrients to tissues, removing waste products, and facilitating communication between different parts of the body. Dysfunction within the cardiovascular system can lead to various health conditions, including heart disease, hypertension, and stroke, highlighting the importance of maintaining cardiovascular health through regular exercise, a balanced diet, and lifestyle modifications. The respiratory system is a complex network of organs and tissues responsible for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the body and the environment. It includes structures involved in breathing, gas exchange, and the regulation of respiratory processes. The primary function of the respiratory system is to facilitate the exchange of gases essential for cellular respiration, providing oxygen to tissues and removing carbon dioxide, a waste product of metabolism. Let's delve into the components and functions of the respiratory system in detail. 1. Nasal cavity and pharynx. Air enters the respiratory system through the nasal cavity, where it is warmed, moistened, and filtered by the nasal mucosa and tiny hair-like structures called cilia. The pharynx, or throat, serves as a passageway for air traveling between the nasal cavity and the larynx. It also plays a role in swallowing. 2. Larynx. 
The larynx, commonly known as the voice box, is located at the top of the trachea. It contains the vocal cords, which vibrate to produce sound during speech and other vocalizations. The larynx also serves as a protective mechanism, closing off the airway during swallowing to prevent food and liquids from entering the trachea. 3. Trachea and Bronchial Tree The trachea, or windpipe, is a tube-like structure that connects the larynx to the bronchial tree. It is reinforced by C-shaped rings of cartilage, which help maintain its shape and prevent collapse during inhalation. The trachea branches into two primary bronchi, which further divide into smaller bronchi and bronchioles, forming the bronchial tree. The bronchial tree delivers air to the lungs and allows for the exchange of gases within the respiratory system. 4. Lungs. The lungs are the primary organs of the respiratory system, responsible for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Each lung is enclosed within a pleural membrane, which helps maintain lung expansion and facilitates breathing. The lungs consist of lobes, three in the right lung and two in the left lung, that are further divided into smaller units called lobules. Within the lungs, bronchioles terminate in clusters of tiny air sacs called alveoli, where gas exchange occurs. 5. Alveoli and Gas Exchange Alveoli are thin-walled, grape-like structures where gas exchange takes place between the air and the bloodstream. Oxygen from inhaled air diffuses across the alveolar membrane into the bloodstream, where it binds to hemoglobin in red blood cells for transport to tissues. Carbon dioxide, a waste product of cellular metabolism, diffuses from the bloodstream into the alveoli to be exhaled. 6. Diaphragm and Respiratory Muscles The diaphragm is the primary muscle involved in breathing, separating the thoracic cavity, containing the heart and lungs, from the abdominal cavity. During inhalation, inspiration, the diaphragm contracts and moves downward, increasing the volume of the thoracic cavity and drawing air into the lungs. Exhalation, expiration, is typically a passive process, but during forced exhalation, the diaphragm relaxes and moves upward, decreasing thoracic cavity volume and expelling air from the lungs. 7. Regulation of breathing. Breathing is regulated by the respiratory control center located in the brainstem, specifically the medulla oblongata and pons. The respiratory control center receives input from chemoreceptors that monitor blood levels of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and pH, acidity. Changes in these factors trigger adjustments in breathing rate and depth to maintain optimal levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the bloodstream. In summary, the respiratory system plays a vital role in sustaining life by facilitating the exchange of gases necessary for cellular respiration. It involves a series of structures and processes that work together to ensure efficient gas exchange, maintain respiratory function, and support overall health and well-being. Disorders of the respiratory system, such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and pneumonia, can significantly impact breathing and overall health highlighting the importance of maintaining respiratory health through lifestyle modifications and medical interventions when necessary. The cardiovascular system, also known as the circulatory system, is a vital network of organs and blood vessels responsible for circulating blood, nutrients, oxygen, hormones, and other vital substances throughout the body. The cardiovascular system, also known as the circulatory system, is a vital network